Ooh. Outside, I mean, to be clear, this is roughly about two size in terms of like your size to the cave entrance. As you walk up and you What's see this massive? massive hole in the side of this this thing, there's two <sighs> two of these beasts just ripping into this large dire wolf carcass. And as they see you, uh, where's the dog gone? Hang on. <laughs> Hunting dogs and already like going straight towards them. The rest of you are already like kind of chugging behind, and as as you get closer and closer, they look up, and these two just scatter. They just run. Right. Like run away or run into the cave thing. These ones run away. They don't go into the cave. They just hey, scatter um... into the night. Like they're just frightened because you've just come crashing through the trees. You got a big dog <laughs> kind of going through. You got Gabriel and, right. and crashing through. You got Swift and Agen and Atlas all coming crashing through the trees. Uh, uh, Dungeon Daddy, um, seeing that I've ha had a small uh, time in the like city and stuff in this land. Yes. Uh, is there any parts of these direwolves, these creatures that are sp specifically um, valuable? I.e. Yeah, as in, are they, is there any, like, you know, do they use in paws and any potions, or is there anything specifically God. valuable not, with not the anything fur? Like or... Magical or arcane or anything like that. Like, okay. their pelts are probably worth something, to be fair. But it's oh, not I like yeah, I'm not these gonna... are greatly desired or anything like that. It's... Okay, no, that's cool, that's cool. So I'm just going to sit down next to the next to the body and just make some notations on how they were, like, eating it and how they were ripping into the body and stuff and just prodding it and... I just doing a little bit of a quick, quick move, examination. Move towards the entrance of the cave and see if I can see anything inside. Uh, you with your dark vision. You do have dark vision, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, 60 feet. You with your dark vision. You just see it is a massive cave entrance. It's probably, what, 10, 20, 30, like 40 foot wide almost. Probably another 30, 30 foot Jesus. Wide. And you just see it just goes down. And although there's light streaming in at the beginning of it, it, it goes to darkness and darkness. Fortunately, you can see through it. You, you can't. Is there any see movement? Any, give me a perception roll. Mm, 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 mm. 18. Okay. You don't see any movement from. Yeah, you don't see any movement in that darkness. There's. You can hear, like, as you kind of, like, listen in, you know, you're kind of using hunter senses and such, um, you can hear, like, the dripping of water and such in there, and you can catch, just, like, the very glimpse of the edge of a pool. Um, it definitely goes down in, like, layers of rocks and such that go into this into this cave. Right. Mm. And uh, while he's doing that, I'm going to be like, hey, Tug, hey, Tug, do you want another treat? Want another treat? And flick him some rations. At this point, he's that isn't it. He's focused. He's already he's focused. To walk into the cave. Yeah, I'll go pick up the rations. And... <laughs> <laughs> Can I um... the rations and the fucking dog and it hits him in the side of the head? What do I have enough time for a little ten minute sort of tending wounds? Um, short rest. You guys want to take ten minutes? I just mean like while um while Tyler was looking read um writing his book and David's looking inside the cave mouth and stuff, I was just wondering if I had ten minutes. It's probably, at, at, at this stage it's probably only been a minute or two. Um if, if you guys if you guys wanted to stop here for a short rest, you that might be an option. I, I'm I'm happy to examine the body of this dire wolf for ten minutes and take further notes and the, Unless anyone's got any healing magic. <laughs> the, the only thing I will note is that Tug is already walking into this cave. You can let him go if you like, or... Uh, I'll say I'm Tug, gonna Tug stay. And he's kind of... And I'm going to cast... Um, Just... Uh, Mage Hand. Almost shivering in anticipation. And I'm just going to basically have that as a imaginary kind of pull on his collar. I know it's only 10 pounds, but... Um, just another added thing to kind of hold him in place. He kind of like stops and again he's kind of... If you ever see like a dog when they... When they want to go somewhere. something in the wild and they just go like almost just lock. It goes like that basically and kind of tugging and he kind of... Eventually takes a step or two back as he slowly walks back. Kind of growls and barks a little bit but obviously without the speak of animals it doesn't... 
Yeah. I don't know what he's saying, but yeah. That's why I so only use simple. That's why I can only use simple commands now. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are taking taking ten minutes to take short rest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just, I just rolled my. <laughs> did you Did you ask? Did you ask in character, or did you? Yeah, no, I asked. Yeah, I asked. No, I only oh. asked. I mean, it sounded like he asked the DM, not us. Well, I'm gonna sit down and tend my wounds oh, while Tyler is looking at the wolf. I was gonna say, yeah. Atlas has just sat down. Obviously, uh, I tugged the fucking uh, the door, uh, tug and such back, and it's. I'll start walking in towards the cave. <laughs> chaotic neutral. Nah. <laughs> to be honest, that actually. Wait, yeah, how's that crap. chaotic neutral? There's been no communication that we're stopping. That's true. Well, you can see people sitting down there. Okay. <laughs> to, to be honest, that would actually probably happen with me. I'm so focused on the kind of the fascination with the like dead car because I probably wouldn't notice people going right into the cave. Agent stops to write things all the time, you know? Mm. It's nothing new. Mm. Well. Would you like to go into the cave prior to everybody else? Then I can move you through if you like. Um. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um. I'd, I'd be going to the. I guess I'd be going to the cave because I don't want this dog going off on its own. <laughs> yeah, and to be to be honest, two of you going into the cave, you know, you've got you're both there. I probably wouldn't be too fussed. I'll say, Adrian, can you look after our uh, our bear handler? Yes, yes, Atlas and me can. Shall no, shall we come in after he is finished, or? Well, I mean, yeah, if, uh, keep watch. I I'm, I'm happy to walk in. I'm just not going to be much uh much. No, much no, use, no. But blood blood we'll, pouring we'll, out of mine. We'll, we'll, we'll be in in a minute. We'll be in in a minute. Just give an old man a breath, and Atlas can tend to his wounds. That's right. You guys are taking a moment. We'll, we'll click over to uh, Gabriel and Swift. I believe both of you have dark vision, which again is probably quite ha handy. You see what you see. You're welcome to explore. You walk in, and again, you can hear that kind of dripping of water and such. Um, I'll, I'll bring the rest of you across to this layer for the time being. Yeah. So your characters I'm going to say, um, wait, I'm going to spend the last uh, minute or so of my short rest preparing torches. Preparing torches? Okay. You, you, you grab some sticks and such. Actually, I don't think it, it will matter if I bring you across here because you won't have vision anyway. So I'll yeah. leave it to these guys. Alright, yeah, this is what you find yourself in. You can hear water running, like you can hear it dripping, and off in the distance you can hear like a... Sounds like running water, it's definitely some, some distance away from you. What's the plan? Did you say you brought us across, wait, or are we just still in the forest? Oh, I'll leave you in the forest now. I was going to bring you across, but you won't have vision anyway, so there's not much point. Oh. I will let you know. I'm just going to walk to the edge and be like... It goes down. Where did the where did the dog go? I think the dog's still out with us, isn't he? The dog uh -huh. is currently outside. Although I'd probably say at this point, if you guys have walked in, he's gone to make a move in as well. Okay. I thought the dog was walking in. It was walking in, and then you had uh, Agen using Mage Hand to target its thing. But uh, yeah, I would say at this point, it's probably running. It's already stepping down the rocks. It's probably only like two feet drop. It's not like a full five foot drop. After Go away, doggy. Jumping down, and kind of walks off into the blackness. Runs through the water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to Atlas and say, Atlas ain't there. "I'm not there." Whatever, the other one, the one that's next to me, Gabriel, and say, "I, I think that man makes really questionable decisions." <laughs> Yeah, he. I'm not sure where he trained as a hunter, but uh, oh my God. they they never taught me to uh, to uh, snatch a, a mother's uh, baby from from uh, from from its nest. At that yeah. moment, <laughs> at that moment, age outside, Aegean's like, "Hey, Atlas." That was a really great idea for picking up that baby to, like, distract <laughs> from going to get us. Well done. Well, it, it looked like the only thing it wanted to do was focus on protecting its baby. So if we move the baby, mother will follow. <laughs> it's all good. I just wanted to throw them there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so the two inside, for, you know, whoever's leading, you've, you've noticed that Tug has just stopped. And again, it's the same thing when the dog sees, you know, 
hears something right, walking through in the wild. Yeah, before we catch up to the dog, very uh, quietly. before we catch up to the dog, is there like any signs of tracks or anything in this place? There is. Hmm. It's not like a big not giant T Rex sized foot hole in the ground, right? <laughs> um, not no, uh, not tracks as such because it's mostly rock, but like it's. It's definitely been disturbed. There's like, you know, every now and then there'll be a bit of dust that's been kind of kicked over or like a clear, the, the main center of it, you can see that either people or creatures have been running through it and like most of the rocks and stuff have been kind of tossed to the side a little bit as you go on. <sighs> You're welcome to keep on moving if you like. Should we keep going, Atlas? Nope, not Atlas. Fucking hell, Jesus Christ. Should we keep going, <laughs> Gabriel? Uh, Sorry, I'm not very good with names. Maybe we should wait for the other two to catch up? Well, we don't know how long we... they're going to be. They didn't even. They just sort of sat down and didn't say anything. Actually, you would have heard Gabriel talk to Aegeon, considering you weren't that far ahead of him. Just saying that I was going to tend to his wounds, right? Nah, she doesn't hear after things that Aegean says. That's uh, Gabriel. Crazy old man. You can, right? What's that, sorry, bro? Yep. Yep. You can see that. Yeah, I would say from, from your position, it's really dark in here, but there is little slivers of light. And you can only expect that those are probably like cracks in the surface, like where tunnels and such are. Right, yeah. Like feeding down. Where the sunlight's like just pre like peeking through. Where the sunlight coming through. Not much at all, just like a sliver that's coming through and kind of just lighting up that area the slightest bit and you with your night vision your uh, sorry dark vision you're kind of able to make out a little bit more detail and I, I would suspect that you do spot in the walls this is kind of like above ground a little bit that there are creatures mm -hmm. and they they look very similar if not the same type of creatures you were you have fought earlier there's night beasts up on these things some of them look a bit smaller than the ones you've You've fought previously. I once looked roughly about the same size. Yeah. And looking behind them, you can see very small, compact tunnels that kind of feed back into the wall and wind off to like areas you can't see. Right. Can I kind of do that like whisper shouting thing that you do to dogs when you're trying to not to like attract too much attention, but like trying to get their attention? I'm like tug, 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 tug. Again, just tentatively starts taking a step back. Um, give me an insight check. Wendy. Oh. Um, you will notice that these, their behavior seems, seems like it's, it's, it's more of interest or like curiosity, I guess. Which one, the the dog or the creatures? No, the creatures up in the walls. Uh, less, yeah, more of kind of curiosity rather than, I guess, like a predatory. Um, so they're not aggressive. They might well be aggressive, but at this stage, it's not like they're growling or anything. It's not like they've got that right that kind of like killer and uh, killer kind of instant instinct to lock on, at this point. Would 10 minutes have passed by now? Wait. I'd say we'd be very close to coming up to that. Are you guys walking into the cave? Uh, yeah, would I'd be walking in. I suppose oh. I'd, um, I'd light my torch up, uh, and then I'm going to ask um, Aegeon, um, I know that your companion has issues, but do you mind if I telepathically talk to you? No, no. I'm always keen for a good chat there, Atlas. Well, Tell me I your stories. I mean, what I'm going to do is put my hand on your shoulder um, and give you, uh, what's it called, mind link response so you can talk back to me. Um, I'm not going to light my torch yet because I know that these creatures, the last time we handled that, they didn't like the light so well and then we got attacked automatically. So, I mean, if you can see in the dark... I do not. I've got very old eyes, my friend. 
Uh, if we are going in the dark, just make sure you hold on to an old man's hand very closely, because if I trip, I might take a fall. That All right. would be very uh, disheartening. Well, well, in that case, we both can't see anything, so I'll give you a torch. And we'll walk in there with torches held high. Ah, yes, that's what we do. swift whispering. I don't think that guy really thinks things through. <laughs> it goes kind of slightly throughout the caves. <laughs> Gabriel going, no, when we're told to hunt, we normally don't. And it kind of like breaks off a little bit, so you can't hear the full sentence, but you can hear this kind of chatter that's happening further down into the cave. Uh, I'm going to say to Swift, I'm like, I, I can see more of those creatures in the cave. Um, I'd say Swift can probably spot them from oh, yeah. trees now as well. But you pointing that out probably brings it more to attention. Should, uh, we, should we go kill them? No, no, I have a, I have an idea that might work. Um, Hello, you, 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 guys, are you in here? In here. Are we going to steal their babies? No, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna scare them. You, you, you were good at uh, imitating animals. Uh, Hearing right? Can you, though. can you take this head of this large beast and maybe run at them? See if you can scare them. Yeah. Would you, would you think that's? You think that would might might scare them off? Even just hearing the echo of this voice. Uh, Swift, I imagine Gabriel's turned around to talk to you. Swift, you notice that these, at least these three here, have all almost taken what seems to be a bit of a step back as they like slowly uh, look a little bit into the cave. Um, Are you taking the, the head off? <laughs> they, they, they already look like they're scared of us. Yeah, Do we want to make them run further? Yeah, if we could just clear them out. Make sure they never return here. Alright. I will grab this head <laughs> and I will run forward and say, You're a scary monster! Uh, I'm a scary monster. They look, they all just <laughs> like recline a bit and they almost seem to disappear. Again, it's like, uh, even, w even with your dark vision, just the, the the lack of actual light in there and the way that their cloaks seem to reflect it, they just almost seem to vanish. But yeah. Uh, again, and also Atlas, because neither of you have a torch or any light to work with, I believe. Um, mm. I'm going to make you a... No, 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 you can move down there, that's fine. Mm. Um, just make me a dick, a dick save, both of you. Oh, we did say we, we were... Torches. Yeah, we said we are walking in there, torches yeah, held high. Torches. Oh, you do have torches. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, 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 okay. That's all right. It wasn't going to be anything too terrible, don't worry. I was going to be like, oh god, here we go, here we go. <laughs> broke a hip, old man, broke a hip. Yeah. Uh, no, no, you can, you can move your characters forward, and as you come down, you can... Uh, <laughs> Swift, see Swift running off with his head into, over here, running to the middle of the, the thing. Can you give ah, my, pretty... can you give my, um, my character light? It doesn't yes, seem sorry, to have any. Yeah, yeah, because you said that you weren't going to have a thing, but now you do have. Yep. Uh, yeah. Swap this over. Um, Sweet. Twenty and forty. I'd be on the way into the cave. I'd be examining uh, the walls to see if there are any, uh, you know, kind of precious metals or precious stones or anything. That are on the walls. Hmm. We'll come back to that. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll just assume that you're doing that the whole way as you make your way through the cave. Yeah, basically, I just assume that I'm always doing something naturish, David Attenborough styles. Um, are you you're running forward to do this, Swift? Like yeah. Is the open to do it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, we'll say I'm like over here. Back. Yeah. As you do this and they kind of recline, you just see Tug kind of like. This, tenses out a little bit and just keeps on starts to move further into the cave there is there's not the running water sound which you heard from before isn't coming from here but there is that kind of trickle as it moves down from that elevated platform where the light is and almost like a little waterfall that kind of goes down into this this here and again you can hear the kind of scurry of paws as it takes off uh, as tug takes off into the darkness i'm gonna I'm if if Tug's gone yeah. out into the darkness, I'm gonna yell out. Tug! Well, I'm gonna kind of half yell, half. I'll basically just say, Tug, 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 come back here, boy, come back here, Woo! and try to whistle. Woo! You just hear fading off into the distance. I really did honestly thought that I was good with animals, but maybe I am not. Um, 
as you as you progress further the air feels a little bit thicker i guess like a little bit mustier than usual i guess it's the only real thing to note at this point like high humidity or just like stagnant almost stagnant i think is is, is kind of close like yeah is swift it's still running brief, but there's definitely more kind of volume to it i guess you'd say is swift still running down the um like if he was told uh, if she was told to run is she did she stop when they kind of van- like ran back or is she still running after them I see any more of the creatures have they all scattered basically uh in this particular you, you see what you see in this chamber okay yeah. i'll i'll uh i'll grab i'll uh reach uh i'll uh i'll say to swift uh good job with the the distraction i'll i'll take i'll take that head back now Splashing. She'll look at the head and look at Gabriel, then look at the head and look at Gabriel. Did, did you want to hold on to it? Yeah, it's kind of fun. Okay, uh, uh, I'll give I'll give her the the wrappings, and you you can wrap it up in this if you like, or actually, she loses just and gives it back to you. Oh, okay, no, I'll, I'll wrap it back up. <laughs> Fling it on something, I guess. Uh... Oh, is that me? I think that's me. That's DC. Hold up. Yeah, cheers, Discord. Sorry, I'm back. This... Yeah. yeah, you're back, bro. Uh, this water, is it... Can you see the bottom? Is it, like, just a little pool, or is it... This pool is it... here is, is probably only a couple of feet deep. There's like bones and like small parts of animals and such all kind of littered throughout. I'm going to cast Mold Earth. I'm loving that fucking spell. Uh, to create a five foot block in front of Swift. And then I'm going to basically keep molding Earth as I head across this little stream. Across those ways? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, just like you see on a fucking so, Crash Bandicoot, you know, bringing one... Yeah, yeah, it's all little wet dirt and stuff coming up, and there's like little bones, ting, 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 kind of roll off the sides of this dirt as you lift it up, psh, into the water, around. As you get then closer I'm... with your torch, you can probably, again, see off into the tunnels, and uh, which these things have kind of wrapped around the corner and such, and, no. um, and you can just see them wind off. They get smaller and smaller to the point where you kind of wonder how the fuck these things fit through them in the first place. Yeah. So can we... Uh, I'm thinking, uh, if the guys are pushing forward into the cave, Swift, should we uh, should we check this area out afterwards? Should we go with um, Atlas and Gabriel? Um, sure. I think they're following the dog. Yeah, uh-huh. I think we best probably stay as a group. This probably, and... probably hear growling coming from further down into the cavern. And I was waiting for you guys. Now everyone's gone, it's like... Just Guys, a light footfall of um of, oh, of feet. Down this way, Atlas. Atlas, Atlas. Down this way. Doesn't Atlas have a torch? Yeah, but he does. Like my torch basically means that I can see around me. But if the other guys have gone around a passageway or they've gone, ah, oh, you'd have seen our torch yeah, though. So, so, so to be clear, like everything you can see, you can see. So oh, sweet. that ex- that extra forty feet is your dim light from your torch, and you can kind of ah. see their their light around the corners and such as well. Oh, nice. Slowly make your way down, and there's. I guess at this point you can see these two of the beasts are in the water and as you come down they kind of like slowly start to walk backwards and then Tug starts to, as he's growling, slowly starts to let up. You can oh, so those see. white little torches are light themselves. Oh, do they actually show up as torches for you guys? Yeah, mm. yeah you gotta put them on the GM layer. Oh. If you don't want us to see them. Okay, that'll look way better. I can do that. Why is it not letting me select them now? Oh, so they're probably in the token layer if you're in the map layer or they're in the map layer rather than yeah, the token layer. layer. I will very quickly grab these. Sorry. Oh, so that little area down there we weren't supposed to see. What? No, no, there's light, see, there's see, light see, pouring see. in, but yeah. the, it, yeah. oh, that was the lights from the. Cracks, it's just we're from right? cracks and stuff That's in right. the, yeah, okay, in yep, the yep. cave roof. Yeah, they're gone. Right? They're gone now. Yeah. You still got the actual light itself, though, right? Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yep. Mm. Yep. Oh, no, I don't. No. No, it's gone completely. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know what to do about this then. 
I mean, I, it doesn't bother me if they're on the yeah, I mean, layer I'll, I can see. I'll, 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 I will light these ones back up. In the oh my god, my immersion. <laughs> oh no, Pete's immersion. It's broken. <laughs> Our immersion is broken. Oh man, I'm trying hard. Uh, yes. Map work? Maybe that's where I had them. Oh, oh. they look like torches yeah. for some reason, but it's actually just light that's trickling in. No, fair <laughs> enough. Cool. I'll pop my head just in here just to see if there's anything. Um, anything there is that... a pool of water. It is. It looks fairly deep. You you look down you probably you, get you can't you don't think you can see the bottom okay but there's nothing around the walls or nothing that would kind of make me think that there's anything interesting there I don't know do you want to give me a give me a check give me an investigation I guess oh okay dokie. investigation sixteen um I guess for you I mean, there's two things. I guess for you... Just from my eyes are quite bad as well, being an old yeah. man, so... You you do have light. That is something to consider. Um, I guess for you... One thing to note, there's there's all sorts of like weird like cave mushrooms and like fungi and stuff like that. Which might your character. As you're kind of like having a look around, you're like, ooh, what's this kind of thing? You notice out the edge of your eye a little glint in the water. Oh, a little glint. A little glint. And... It's only for, for a moment, and it's almost like it was the flickering from your torchlight which happened to catch it. All right. I will. This is fast becoming my favorite fucking spell. Mold earth. <laughs> I will mold earth, but separate the kind of the sludgy stuff at the bottom of the kind of basically clear it out of the water to make the water uh, more clear. So all of, the, all of the earth particulates in the water basically separate them out. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, you, so it's like easier to see through the water yeah. as such. Yeah, it's still pretty deep, but I almost think like you can catch a little glint every now and then as the flames kind of flicker. Then Definitely I deep. It's hard to tell with the lights of water and, and light reflecting off the water and all that kind of stuff. It is hard to tell how deep it is. You're just sending Mage Hand down? I'm going to conjure a Mage Hand just to yeah. basically just grab around where I think I see the glisten. Your Mage Hand goes down. And it keeps on going down. And it keeps on going down. And you realize that this is a lot deeper than it looks like. Mm. To the point where your mage hand eventually kind of fades as it moves out of range. Hmm. Uh, one more thing. That would quite intrigue me because that means it's like down way deeper. I will cast Unseen Servant. Basically, <laughs> swim yeah. down there an extra 30 feet to see if they can retrieve like whatever the uh, glistening thing is. So you send him down. Or s send the Six force okay, yep. down. Use the force like Obi-Wan. Just Catch watching him. you do all of these, um, these, these spells, um, Adrian, I'm just looking and be like, can't, can't wizards just make little swimming familiars and... Oh... I'm not that kind of wizard. <laughs> oh, well, obviously I can't see your unseen servant, so I'm like... In, I can... in, say, in I saying that, Atlas, it. how good are your eyes? Can you come and see this uh, glint in the water? Stick my head over and see if I can see anything. Yeah, you can roll a perception roll. Also, at this stage, your unseen servant is probably about 40, 45 feet away from you. Nine... Oh, really? It's really hard to see, even with dark vision, just because it's water and it's not really. I don't have dark vision. <laughs> and, <laughs> That's uh, the problem. <laughs> just, just roll me a d20, uh, Tyler. D20, one d20. Is your unseen servant just ten? Okay, ten was DC. Probably should measure that. As he kind of reaches around, and you can see like, although you can't see the servant itself, you can kind of see the water being disturbed. Yeah, yeah. Um, as this as this uh, ghostly kind of visitor has gone down, and you can kind of see water kicking up and the dirt. Even though you clean the particles out, they all start kind of coming together. And then you can feel them starts to come back to you, and this ring just comes out of the water. Oh, a, a ring! Held up just in midair for the rest of you. Look what I man. fished up! Oh, a lucky day! 
Um, I'll grab the ring and is uh, looking at the ring. Is it feminine? And like, is like, is it a feminine ring or is it quite a masculine? Like, is it quite square and cut quite uh, boldly, as, or is it as it quite is, decorative? it's covered in shit, basically. Um, covered in dirt and grime and all sorts of things. Um, the ring itself is a very odd design. It's hard to like make out, especially in this light as well. Yeah. Um, Throw it in fire and see if words come up. Uh, I'll um. <laughs> I'll basically I'll walk out of that area back into the main Shimmer. cabin, um, and I'll be like wiping it off, kind of inspecting the ring. Cool. We'll come back to that in a little bit. What are the rest yeah. of you guys doing? Um, As you're kind of splashing around this water, I'll say that these two beasts near you have kind of like reclined a bit, almost like the disturbances. Which way is the dog going? What the dog doing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we got a buff. We got a front of the dog. <clears throat> You see him get to this point, Gabriel, just because you're right behind him. He's mm. almost like slipping on the wood as he runs across. Oh. Um, oh, and then like almost loses its balance and almost just manages to like catch itself and drag itself back up. And then again, just seems to take off in the distance. Just a just a heads up. This here, you can hear rushing water. Shh, like it's very. Fast. That's like an underground stream it's there. An underground river that's passing through. And, Oh yeah, and it's, it's moving very fast. There's big giant logs that are just kind of passing underneath and being dragged right. across. Oh, it's very... very. I'm just gonna be like, um, whoa, whoa. Oh, very carefully walk across these. Yep. So you're just walking straight across. Give me a. Uh, we'll make it a dex save. I hate to ask you this, Swift. Uh... Well, acro acrobatics actually, you can do if you like. Mm -hmm. I hate to ask you this, being such a. <laughs> Wait, did you say dex save or acrobatics? Uh, it would be, be acrobatics, sorry. Oh, okay. If you, were, if you were just like trying to run across, or unless you're just sprinting across, but you said carefully, right? Oh, 23. 23, okay, yeah. You... I'm not I'm not sprinting across, I'm just kind of like... Yeah, yeah acrobatically, so you're just tentatively, like almost... Um, what are they called? Finding the safe right? places to walk across and like... And walking between the logs and... You walk across like the, the the logs are very wet there's like mold and stuff oh like wet logs out yeah, yeah. you're able to kind of get across i'll just kind of say to the rest of the party so uh careful these logs are wet um swift you wouldn't mind uh letting an old man ride on your back would you i just a little bit scared about uh losing my footing over that uh you want a piggyback Yes, please, please. I'm a bit nervous about uh, that uh, that timber there. Wait, how tall are you? I uh, wouldn't be that tall. I'd be kind of kind of five and a half feet because I'm kind of slunched over. Maybe five and a yeah. half, five yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, jump on. All right. And she'll sort of like kneel a little bit, arms out in a loop, so that you can shove your legs through. Sweet, sweet. And then she'll be like, "Wee!" <laughs> okay, give me an athletics check on your part as you're carrying this man and you're walking across. Ah. Do, 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 do. Ugh, that's a 14. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, 14. Okay, uh, acrobatics from Aegean. So at the moment, in terms of you, oh, you kind shit. of. Lose your footing at one side, but you're able to right yourself just with your and you chuck your weight to one side. Again on top, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he goes starts tumbling off. He's starting to fall down. And you've got to, you know, you you still got to grab you onto it, but his weight, or you like flicking yourself to the side, and then him just shoot, not holding on in any correct kind of way, starts flying off. Uh, uh, I think you got anything you want to do. Uh, can I, if at this stage, um, am I able to, uh, basically, uh, cast Gust, uh, to the side where I'm falling to, to try and kind of right myself? Uh, I will say you can Gust, but at, with a, with a zero, with a net one. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, fair are, enough, fair enough. Already, uh, but I will say you, you, at this stage, you're basically just in the air, like you've just, you've just come off. Yep. One leg almost still tangled in um, in uh, Swift's kind of kind of arms. And she's kind of almost trying to right herself, and you are basically falling off. You can use that gust to try to do something if you like. Do I have the ability to just grab him before he flies off? Yeah, you can give me. We'll, we'll go with one. We're gonna set. It's gonna be a pretty high DC for this one because 
He's already tossing up, and you're basically just trying to reach out one of his heads. We will say when DC, we'll say we'll say athletics is going to be eighteen for this year because this is all all in a sudden. This is basically a quick reaction which you're going for. <laughs> what are you doing with your gust? Actually, uh, I was just more so like I've like, basically oof. if I'm falling off, I'm just gust in a random direction to try and push me back toward okay. the bridge. Okay. Well, say so DC 16 then, as you kind of like, you're already add, adding a little bit of force to come back yeah. towards that direction. Yeah. 16. Oh, hey! One left. Trust you, you're my champion. Arm, and he got, uh, like pushes himself a little bit, and you're able to reach over with one arm and uh, drag him straight back so he's on your back. And, and just able to manage to get yourself across. It's like, fuck, way too close. By that stage, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> after he puts me down, I'm kind of crawling on my hands and knees. Swifty, you've just been you... in so many different directions. Again, you've gone this side. Uh, Swift writes us have to come back. You've got tossing off, gusted yourself, and then yanked back. <laughs> Swifty, you are my a guardian angel, my sweet pie. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> I was just playing. I was just playing. <laughs> are, you, um, are you crossing Atlas? What's your plan? Yeah, I'm I'm looking very shocked right now just watching that giant juggling act go on these rocks knowing that uh, if you actually do make a mistake, then you basically are in the drink. Uh, well, sorry, um, just before we continue, sorry, just before we continue, as you guys start stepping towards this, the air is getting thicker and thicker, and you will notice that your torches, not dark vision, but your torches are getting dimmer and dimmer. But yeah, do your thing. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll try and cross. It'll be easy. You just um, cautiously going across, like very cautiously. Okay. Like I will take an extra. I will take extra time to to do it. Can I yeah, can but... I throw a rope to whoever's left just to sure. maybe g give him like an anchor? Huh? What are you doing with the rope? So you're, you're biffing. So with tossing it? tossing one into uh, Atlas, so he's got like an anchor, and I can just kind of. Guide him across. Cool. I can knot that sort of securely around my waist and I'll, yeah, tentatively start taking my first steps. And is, uh, sorry, just before we continue, Gabriel, are you just like holding this rope or have you tied it onto something or are you just like. Yeah I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll have the other, I'll have like both hands on the other, other end of the rope or around the, the loop of rope that I've got. Cool. All right. Cool. Oh. If you're just crossing, give me a, uh, upgrade. <laughs> Acrobatics, or if you want to try to jump it, I don't know if you'd make that. Nah, I, have, I, I can do acrobatics. Acrobatics is fine. Uh, it's gonna be DC 15, by the way, same as what it was. Sort of thing. 12. 12. Start walking across. Oh, shit, you start slipping. Gabriel, what are you doing? Uh, feeling the, or oh, being him kind of loses footing, I'll just kind of pull, just pull the up. rope towards me. Give him a yank. Give it, right. give it a tug. Probably say you won't be half, halfway across. And you just give me a straight strength check. For, oh, athletics you can use, sorry. Athletics or straight strength. Athletics makes more sense. As you, come, okay. you give him a big yank. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Fucking, oh, he starts falling off. You actually fall off the log and then feel yourself being yanked. Boof, you just collide with this wall right in front of you. You are across the river itself. There's like enough uh, space there for you to... Kind of pff, you crash into the wall, fuck, 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 able to right yourself just before you fall off. But uh, you're going to take a little bit of bludgeoning damage, not, not too much. This is going to be a d6. So take three <laughs> bludgeoning damage. You this man is the bat this just... man is the 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 battered <laughs> the battered poor bastard the battered <laughs> doll. Can I go As... and help him pull this rope? <laughs> yeah, you go lift him up. Help now, him pull yeah, 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 yeah. Now that now that now that he's hanging off the cliff side. Yes, now that he's oh, got a copy on. Yeah, you're able to reach over and then. <laughs> Uh, it's not too much of a contest, especially if both of you are there to just drag him off. <laughs> yes, like I get up, get up onto this um, this cliff and sort of thanks, thank everyone. While my nose is probably bleeding from face planting a <laughs> face planting a cliff. Adrian, uh, and while he's being dragged up, he's got on his hands and knees. He's gonna look over the edge and just have a kind of look to see how far down it was to see if they would have died. If... <laughs> to, to down to the river. Yeah, yeah, just to basically see, oh, if, if we had a fallen, like, would we have actually, you know, kind of, is that a death sentence, or? Uh, it's, it's, it's about 40 feet, so it's... Ah, okay, so it's still it's fucking... Long. There's water at the bottom, granted there is logs and stuff going through. Yeah. Um, 
you'd probably with your intelligence you'd probably expect that this probably wouldn't be fatal but it's definitely not a circumstance you want to be in especially with how fast the water's moving and you have no idea <sighs> where, this, where this river thank, goes thank god we didn't fall down there oh. yeah. All right. i'll pack my rope back up <laughs> i'm gonna be looking a little bit traumatized and bleeding and sore and you'll just give you a, i'll just give you a pat in the back and say you're all right <laughs> today was worse. Today is have, not my day. <laughs> have we heard anything else from the dog? Have we heard any barking or? You can you can you can hear him. He's not far away from you, um, and you can probably see it from here. Over here is like it's not a cliff face. It's like it's like rocks that goes down. This is like almost five feet decline. Another five feet decline, and you can just hear of of um, tug just cautiously making his way around and climbing down the the rock face. Uh, um, got, I'm going to be a little bit down hesitant well. about going down there. Start climbing down. Uh, I'm just going to... What's uh, that? It... Sorry. I'm just curious as to what Swift and Atlas are up to. Sorry, Atlas, did you say? I was going to say, I'm just looking at my torch, noticing that it's getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer, and I'm just trying to work out, is it like the oxygen level in the area, or is it just something's like having an effect on light itself? Mm -hmm. Make me... I'll give you a choice as to what roll. You can roll Arcana if you want to see if it's something to do with magical. Um, you could check just like investigation if you want to see it's, you know, if you want to see if it's like, or I guess nature, sorry, survival, if you want to see it's like a natural cause that's causing could, it. Could I, could I use uh, Gust to see if it kind of uh, makes the embers of the torch glow brighter and make the... Yeah, uh, yeah you go for it. My torch out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'll, I'll do this, I'll do this on my torch, so I'll cast Gust to try and uh, breathe some like life back into the... Gust to try and bring a bit of extra oxygen in? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of lights up for a little bit and then just almost instantly goes back down. Okay. We'll roll Arcana, I'll, I'll do an Arcana check. Yep. 20, D dirty 20. Hmm. Nice. It's hard to tell, uh, even with a 20. Um... So you have noticed already, like you were saying, that the air definitely seems thicker and it seems to be less oxygen. That definitely seems to be playing a factor. But you can't help but feel that there might be something else in the air. Ugh. Something not natural. Something potentially arcane or, or magical that is that is playing another factor to this. Yeah. These natural light sources. And even I will say because you've got to see it from here. Even the light, uh, the the light that's coming in from the ceiling, it's quite vivid up if you look up, and it kind of thins down to the point where you can barely see any light on the actual floor itself. It's almost like light is being is thinning as it comes closer and closer. Like it's so being it's absorbed. Like, almost. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll let um who's next to me, Swift and um, AG on my findings. They're probably the closest. And just yeah. be like, oh, you guys, th there seems to be a something in the air that's causing the torches to go dim, and mm. and it yes. could be every, could be any any number of things. But also look at these, look at the how the light travels through the air and doesn't hit the ground. And I also have a feeling that there could be something magical about this or something that's not uh, right. Uh, somebody give me a perception roll. Don't care who. Who's the first? Yeah. No. Oh, look at me, Wait, I pressed performance, so it's okay. Don't okay, come on. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Swift starts probably, probably dancing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're looking around. I'm just like, <laughs> you're playing with the head. Um, <laughs> I don't Atlas. have the head anymore. <laughs> Atlas, if we've got your torch, um, you said that there were sticks and stuff on the ground, right? Yeah, there's plenty of little bits of like driftwood, I guess you'd call it. I'm going like to attempt to um, light one of the pieces of driftwood on fire. Um, and if successful, I'm going to throw my existing torch. Um, how far would I throw? I'm pretty weak. Uh, would you let me have uh, 20 feet? Yeah, you can or, probably throw 20 feet. I mean, it's, it's, 20. it's a torch, right? It's basically a stick. Yeah. Like, even if you're, yeah. So I'll probably do it. it. Is it? Is this? Is this affecting a uh, dark vision or at all, or is it just affecting like? It's no, you said it was just affecting the other guy. See as far as rope. 
So yeah, I'm gonna throw it to basically where the dog is, if that's the dog down the <laughs> bottom edge. <laughs> well, yeah, just just kind of in that area. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and go down a hill if I don't see if I don't know what's down the bottom. Okay. So as, maybe as you buff it out, I will say I can't be fucking making a token for this, but we'll just assume yeah. that there is. Actually, I can just create. Hang on, give me a sec. Um, I can copy one of these kind of. I can just put myself down there. Yeah, so basically about there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it lands it, and as it goes further and further in. Ah, as it, as it goes further. Sorry, I got somebody west. I basically agree. Um, as, as you kind of throw the torch, you it's still lit. It, it lands on the ground, but you can see even just him, the light seems to getting. Even smaller. It's not gone, but it's like very, very thin. Or as long as as long as I can see the ground and I know that I'm not going to be going into a bus, um, I'm going to be getting on my butt and doing. Uh, actually, do I have a rope? Swift, do you have a you have a rope on you? Uh, Surely I'll have a rope. In the meantime, come back. Uh, to the she's gonna sort of point around that, like the fact that she's wearing just a uh, rope. I've, I've got. I've and got then she's gonna reach inside the rope and just start pulling this rope out, <laughs> which seems to be rolled around her body. Uh, and I'm going to tie it around my waist. And would you mind being my anchor? And then I'm going to basically butt shuffle and slide all the way down. Um, and Atlas, because everybody else rolled anyway, I'll get you to roll perception. Hey, I rolled a performance. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay. Aegean is probably the only one who really picks up on this, although other people might kind of glean as to what it is, regardless because of dark vision and such. You can hear, like, kind of, kind of faintly. Uh, the cracking of bones mm. coming from uh, coming from this kind of direction. I don't know if you can see that. Crackling of bones. Yeah. Uh, and I, I definitely know it's the bones and not timber. So, like, I can definitely tell that. Uh, guys, we need to be um, careful because I think I hear the breaking of bones down here. Probably a creature. Eating how far? Them. How far down is this? Is this cliff face? Uh, each of these is about five feet, so that's yeah, probably twenty-five foot down. Mm. Your your rope should reach. Yeah, I was just going to jump down, but I guess I won't. Uh, is is each of these little steps are they five feet as well? Where probably about another five foot. Yeah, this is quite a large decline as it goes. Down. Actually, I'm going to jump off anyway. Whee! Oh, ready jump. Okay, give me athletics. And let's see if you land pro. Uh, you're dropping. How far are you dropping? Twenty five feet. Twenty five feet. Oh my god, at, that's a ten. At this, at, at before he no. as he jumps, <laughs> I am going to fuck. I love cantrips. Um, as he jumps, I'm just going to give him a, the slight amount of gust <laughs> underneath him, just to kind of soften his fall. Kind of like oh, Fujin well. off Mortal Kombat Four. We'll, we'll say this <laughs> probably. It wasn't too drastic anyway. It's probably 15. You probably average out to about 10. So it's just going to be... It'll be a decent... You, you kind of collapse to the ground. You lose your footing just as you land. Boom, even with the gust kind of like carries you up so you don't fall off the next platform. But you take a whole one bludgeoning damage from falling and you're knocked prone. Not that that probably matters, but boom, on the ground. Oh, shit. Now you see her run and jump off and she's just kind of like spread eagle as she jumps off. <laughs> and then realizes as she's falling that this isn't a good way to land. <laughs> and she tries to fix herself and just push into the ground. The ground. <laughs> Ow. That wasn't a good idea. Awesome. Okay. Down Who here. said that? There's another voice in my head. <laughs> Was that you, Atlas? Too many voices. Not me. Who said awesome? A oh, poor Craig. Nobody else heard this? <laughs> poor Craig. I am. I am living here. Uh, hang on. Let, let me just let me just double check. Uh, nope, nope. No idea. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? Should we investigate what the sound is, or should we a little follow bit the dog? Pretty bloody apprehensive if we're in the middle of this cave and something big and nasty attacks us and. All of a sudden, our lights go out. We're going to be half as effective. Yeah. Uh, I'm going hey, to, why? with that other piece of driftwood, I'm going to throw it. Um, uh, one, 
two, three, four. Can I attempt to throw it thirty feet In, into the pit? Yeah, you In, can go. Yeah, basically, go. just to. Yeah. yeah. You you throw it. Just peters into darkness. Yeah, so we and, can't but, see it then, hitting the bottom or anything. You, oh, you hear it hit the water? All right. Oh, okay, cool. Can you see it? Can you see it? Hang on. You won't see. see this, but the, the, the two of dark vision will be able to see this. As is, as the wood hits the water, it kind of hits it, and it's almost like it's like a sponge or something. It kind of hits it and like lodges itself in halfway, and then just slowly starts to go under. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Oh, uh, Gabriel! At this point, just because you're mm -hmm. very close, Tug is right down, and he's kind of like, kind of like digging in almost to some rocks. And you see, uh, probably from your current position, you can't get a full look, but you can see like the shirt and the the back of someone's head, a bit of hair and such like that. Um, yeah. Give me, uh, give me a perception check. I hate to keep on abusing perception checks, but this one. Okay. That's right. You probably won't pick up on a whole lot more than that. You've just seen this this person. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll go forward and if I can see if this man's alive. Check his check his vitals. We're about to, so I can't see you on the screen. No. You can Probably hear uh, like the footsteps and such coming down from like your southeast, most likely further down um, towards the pool. Where you just threw the. You probably would have seen for a second him down there as you threw the the stick with the torch. Oh, so he's down. so I, so I know he's down. I, I am not yeah. around the edge of the pit. Not his exact position, but you know roughly where he is. Uh, I'll pro I'll probably follow Atlas uh, and skirt around. I probably don't want to go down deeper because there's no way that I'll make it back up if um if something does attack us. Can I just do a tiny experiment, Wade? Sure. Can I, between where I am now and here, what's the depth? How far down is that? Ten foot from where you are. Ten foot? Yeah. Five foot, five foot. So if I just jump five foot and then five foot and then looked at my torch, does it get dimmer? Yes. Okay. So I'll go back up and tell Aegeon that the deeper we seem to go, the less light. Okay. So if, we, if, we, if we go further down, we'll end up... Like, right at the bottom of that hole, we'll probably be blind. I think if I follow you guys down there, I will be somewhat of a liability, seeing that... Yeah. Um, actually... And you guys you not mind... light? Isn't that what you wizard the people do? Uh, Mages? Well, well, I'm not that kind of wizard. I write stuff down and learn things over years, so there's still lots of things I'm yet to uh, learn how to do. Uh, mm. in, in saying that, um, actually, Wade, can we can we actually make an if I ever have to um, climb anything, or if I ever have to go through rough terrain or something that I, uh, it's usually half speed, half or right? Can we make mine like quarter speed, seeing that I'm old? <laughs> uh, you're exposed penalties yourself, sure. I'll definitely make yeah. checks if you're climbing up like ten foot, five foot, yeah. you can just slowly make it up. I'd say. Thematically, we can definitely do that. I think for the yeah. Time, well, I I I definitely wouldn't want to be de if I'm hearing cracking bones. I don't want to descend anymore because it's going to be harder to That's get out. Fair. So I'll, I will stay up here. I was saying, getting out of like a ten foot drop is already going to be difficult for you for your strength modifier. So just something to bear in mind. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, Gabriel. I was mm -hmm. going to say I'd probably call out to Gabriel at this point. And be like Gabriel. Yes. Um, we've got a problem. That snapping of bones has stopped. These guys can't the see in the dark. They have torches, right? Oh, oh yeah. One. Hey, you guys have torches. What are you talking about? <laughs> Tyler's been throwing them away. <laughs> the, the light is getting dimmer and dimmer. We can't descend any further. It's still a torch, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> At this point, Tug is whimpering, and Gabriel, you mentioned before you wanted to see if he is vitals. Mm. This man is torn in half. The half of his body 
Oh, sorry, the remain. So basically, from the the gut down, is just gone. Like it's been kind of ripped up. Uh, wait, basically. his question was whether or not he had vitals, not what the state of his body was like. Well, you know, he can make his own assumptions from the result of this. Um, but yeah, he's, he's missing the lower half of his body, and oh, I will say that his That's good. out of the half that remains, like his head and his shoulders are above the water. The other half is kind of like inside the water, trapped in these um in this stone if that makes sense um so like there's there's two rocks and his body's kind of wedged in between them and half right. of them in the water uh the other half is above he's kind of got his green cloak on he's got this uh, little brooch there his brown hair and his eyes that look lifeless now oh um, with that perception roll from before one thing you will kind of notice um mm. is there's like there's a trail of, of 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 blood and also mud water i guess i don't know uh, that that looks like it's come kind of it's as if something has dragged him down there right i guess you'd say like there's you know like there's kind of bits of blood like a smear that's kind of come off the back and a bit of water and such as on the way down okay would uh, uh would i be uh, hearing the whimpering of tug, tug? Yes, 100%. It's um, quiet, but you can definitely hear it because you're not that far away. You're only like 30 feet or so. Oh, Tug. Tug, my little friend. Are you all right? What's what's going on down there? I'll just kind of give him a pat on the head. and oh, I'm going to grab this man's brooch. Uh, brooch? And grab his brooch. Yep. So you can kind of start up his cape. I'd imagine the brooch that's kind of holding this. this cape. Oh, is it like a clasp for his a clasp, thing? Sorry, yeah. That's, okay. That's coming across. Okay. Uh, is it like is it like unique? Like is it I like uh? Do you say it's like pretty standard, or okay, so or is it like more of a unique one to him? So you've taken it off at the moment, and you're kind of having inspecting it. Is that the case? Yeah, I'm just trying to see if this is this is something that can identify this man. Yeah, you kind of look at it and kind of like you know dry it off a bit and such like that, and it it, it is a. It's a symbol you definitely recognize, given that you're in Riverhead the last couple of days. Um, and it's it's what you've seen on a lot of their hunters. It's not... It looks as far as you can tell from someone who's not, um, like, a local to the area. It looks exactly the same as all the other ones you've seen. Right. But it, it definitely does share re a, a resemblance to... Um, okay. To the other ones you've, you've, you've seen in town, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll just... Um, yeah, I'll... Chuck that in my pocket so we can give it to yep. someone. <laughs> pocket there. And at this point, Tug's kind of on the ground looking all sad and shit like that. Um, what are you up to? Um, I would probably, I don't know about crews, but I would probably just stay on this level and kind of move around. Kind of head toward this bit of light that I can see. Let's see. Up this way. Yeah. I'll follow you as well, and say if I'm following you to Swift. So you walk off into that. You can hear the pitter patter of something not too far away from you. I will attempt to climb up. So this is about a ten foot. So I am athletics as you try to climb up this. Athletics. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, Atlas, any chance I can uh, get a... Yeah, I'll, go, I'll, 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 I'll push you up. Right. I'll, like, you know, put my, put my hands together and you step into it and I'll... You stand and I'll push. And then I'll get up and I'll just roll around a little bit. Oh, gonna get very dirty. Um, Do I need to make a check to get up this hill? Uh, No, no, you'll be able to get up because you're not frail old man <laughs> kind of climb up in front of you the light kind of streaming in again there's bones and such everywhere there's a massive fucking dire wolf that's just been ripped to shreds there's kind of bits and such everywhere uh, this thing's dead i'm scared to living crap of what killed it make me mm. an, a investigation uh or a medicine one of the two um Investigation oh. makes more sense, actually, for this. Sorry, investigation. Both of us, or...? If you can do this, yeah, depending if you're both looking into this. 
Yeah. Yep. Again, nine. Oh. Cool. Okay. Fucking big rolls, bro. Again, it's got big giant slash. It's got bite marks into it. One thing you notice, this thing has a barb stuck into it. Oh. It draws a big resemblance to the one which Agen's currently carrying. In uh, um, seeing this barb, I will... Oof. I will um, say evocate for uh, Volia Dom and uh, summon my packed weapon. Oh, fate, Virilium. Oh, fate. Oh, fate. Virilium. Sorry, continue, Ben. Um, what sorry, what really did you briefly, say? We're going to come back to you guys in just a second. What is Gabriel up to? What is Swift up to? Uh, I'm just going to give this dog another pat in the head, just kind of reassuring him, and then I'm going to. Try and free this body and push it into the water. Okay. That's what I just climbed down. You climb down, you kind of jump down next to him, you can see him kind of lifting up his body. Be careful, him. Swifty! I was going to I was, I was gonna try and take a drink of this water. You want to try and take a drink? Yeah. All right, two things are going to happen. Actually, three things are going to happen. Yay! Chaos, I love it. Okay, as you... As you... <clears throat> As you uh, unwedge this this body and you kind of let him go into the water, uh, make Gabriel make me a dexterity saving throw. Eighteen. As I'm assuming this is all happening at once, as this body kind of goes into the water, and you kind of lift your way your hand away, you see it. The water itself kind of tendrils come up of it and whoosh, and almost lash out at you. And you're, you're able to dodge out of the way just enough with that. At the same time, I believe Swift has just taken a drink of that. Yeah. Make, make me a constitution save. Oh no, these are my worst. Oh, 23. Okay. Jokes. You, <laughs> you drink it, it's viscous fluid. Uh, fluid. It is like really. It's It's not. It's not not tasty. It's like water with a lot of flavor. It's like I don't, I don't know how to describe this actually, but it is very viscous. It is very very tough. It's almost like drinking jelly as you kind of bring it up. The like non-Newtonian liquid. <laughs> non okay, sure. Um, at the same time, as you guys are digging through this, uh, investigating the the this dive fence there, one of these beasts comes rolling out. I will get you guys to roll initiative. <laughs> 